Cochino Cochino Radio. Cochino Cochino Radio. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, are we good, Doug? I, I don't want to rush nothing. Are we good? We're cool. All right, cool, cool. I didn't want to mess nothing up. No. All right, so uh, listen, y'all. Cino Cochino Radio, special guest walking in the building right now, Sean Wayne. Hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah. Hey. What's pop? But before we talk about anything, I want to talk about the smell <laughs> in this room because Sean, <laughs> Sean walks so in and literally the first thing he says is like, it smells interesting in here. Yeah, I smell dead people. Oh, my God. <laughs> interesting is never a good word to use. We yeah, to- it's okay. weird. Can you hear those okay? Yeah, now I can. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we were talking about it. A, a couple days ago, we had a huge like rainstorm out here, and I feel like every time it rains... The room gets a little bit moldy. Ah, is that what it smells like to you? Well, I don't really know uh, too much about mold um, and its <laughs> smell. Like I'm not around it, but yeah, it's not it. really a moldy smell that I know. It's it smells. Is it a like, sweet smell? It's like what? A sweet? Yeah, it's like a sweet urine kind of. Yeah, thing. that's what oh we God. say every day. <laughs> like someone who is. ate a lot of papaya and mango and then went and took a piss. <laughs> oh my God. Yum. On your carpet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, how, how is life in general? Before we even talk business and work mm. and all that, just just how are you? Life is great. I'm great. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm having fun. Life seems to just be amazing, dude. I saw that you guys, it, the show already happened, right? You guys did like a, an In Living Color like reunion type of thing? Oh, I, I'm on a, uh, currently on a tour. Oh, it's a whole tour. Yeah, called nice. the um, off, crazy. Color, off Color Comedy Tour with me, David Allen Greer, Tommy Davidson, and Mr. Keenan Ivy Waynes. And oh, I love all, that. Um, it's, it's really more like a casino tour, so yeah. we're like touring casinos. That's amazing, bro. Yeah, it's bro. great, man. <laughs> and everybody's doing stand-up, and it's just a fun time. And gambling. It's, it's such a trip, man. I mean, <laughs> obviously, so so such a legendary name and family. Like, what what is Thanksgiving like, bro? When everybody gets <laughs> yeah. together, is it a fun time or is it not like what people would expect? Um, it's exactly what people expect. It's loud. It's funny. Jokes it's everywhere. Cr- jokes everywhere. <laughs> food flying out of people's oh, mouth from yeah. laughing. I mean, it's everything you expect. It's it's really crazy. We, I feel um, sorry for the person's house. That we have Thanksgiving at. <laughs> you can come we out at my house. Demolish it. <laughs> how, how do you guys determine on where the uh, the meal is for each year? It's either going to be at my house or it's going to be at Keenan's house or Damon's house. Oh, always. Most of the time. Who's got the biggest house? Um, well, all of our houses are big, but it's just uh, they're they are laid out differently. Okay. So um, I would say Damon probably has the best layout. Yeah, yeah. What what like separates yours I, from everybody? I'm not everybody. gonna talk, talk too much about it because you trying to uh, get people in my house. <laughs> yeah, no, very true, very true. Very true. <laughs> we'll talk about Nick's house. How's your yeah. apartment? Nick? Uh, it's very small, you one live, bedroom. You live with your mama? <laughs> yes, you do. Wow. <laughs> Why he lying? We're poor. Not. No, I don't believe <laughs> He's you. He's trying to get a handout. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, man. So I mean, it, it, ain't no handouts here. I was poor too, man. <laughs> Go that's get your own, what, That's brother. why you should know the smell in this room, uh, damn it, Sean. I, yeah, I know. My house didn't smell like this. <laughs> oh, my God. My, my house God. was worse. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. What um, what, what was it like like growing up? Like, just, with, with How many brothers and sisters is it? So there's, there's 10 of us. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Where, where crazy. do you raise? Where I'm, do you range I'm, in I'm age? The, um, I'm the uh, second to last. So Maul's the baby, and I'm the guy that beat him up. That's crazy, wow. bro. I mean, that, that had to be like a, probably a good position to be in, right? Yeah, beat Maul up all my life. It was great. <laughs> um, yeah, we got all the hand-me-downs, you know? I mean, they wasn't great hand-me-downs because... You know, there were so many people it had to go through. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's such a dope look, though. I mean, just the the fact that you still, like, do stand-up and love it the way you do. Because, obviously, like, when it comes to, to just the Waynes in general, all the movies you guys do and everything, they're, like, iconic films. Like, people watch them. They know, if I want to laugh, I'm going to go see the Waynes, especially for uh, you and Marlon. You. Thank you. And the fact that you're still down to go out and do, like, intimate, like, comedy shows. Yeah, that, but that's, that's dope. That's what keeps you um, sharp. You know, that's what keeps you funny for the next thing that you put out. So, do you ever worry you know. about your stand up? Like, they're not going to like it today, or how does that process go for mm. you? Honestly, I, I just, you know, I've been doing it a long time. Um, I trust the stuff that I come up with. Um, and anything that might not hit the way I want it to hit, that's okay because that's part of the process. Moving on. Yeah. You know, and then the next time it'll be better. Every time I do it, it'll get better because I'll figure out why that didn't get the laugh that I expected it to get. Mm. Is it, do you have like, not bombing, I would say, because you're at a certain level now where you can't really bomb, I wouldn't think, but do you have moments like where you have a joke that you think is about to kill yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it doesn't? Yeah, I mean, every it, and it, sometimes it got nothing to do with the joke. Sometimes people are tired, you know? Sometimes you get a crowd that only could go to that show. 
And they come because they love you, but their life really doesn't allow them to really come with the energy that they want. Right, they're working with. at Walgreens yeah, all day. Was, exactly. <laughs> oh my God. And they Subway. tired, they feet hurt, they would rather I be home it. sleep, but they didn't want to miss your show. And you feel all that. In your show. Yeah. So you have to work harder to make those people laugh. So it's, it's definitely harder. Then Saturday, you get people who are rested, and they come, and they are laughing at everything. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. They're in a great mood. They're all drinking. Like, this wasn't even that funny, but you guys are giving me a standing note. <laughs> Fine, I'll take it. Yeah, that's amazing, Because you're rested. <laughs> what What are you into musically right now? Like, what do you listen to? You're riding around. What What's in the deck Man, right now? What are you now? bumping? I listen to everything. Everything from we're talking all genres from Jay Z, Cardi B to Mark Anthony to Six Nine, Celia Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. That's a little too gangster for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No but, face tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, you know, but for the most part, all genres of music, funk. You know, SOS band. Um, okay. Lisa, Lisa, Ooh. Cult Jam. Oh, um, I like it. Okay. You know, everything. You know, I, I, I. I, you know, I, I try to DJ two, three times. Hold you on. Know, we were uh, talking about this. So Nicasio is the DJ of our the show. Yeah, I'd be in the house. You, you know, DJ? Working on my stuff. Yeah. So let's get him into the See, other room now, real I, I, I knew doing you, all that. I knew, <laughs> you got to pay for that, Jackie. Um, I, go, I knew that yeah. you did it on uh, In Lemon Color back in the day. And yeah. then I saw, That's yeah, dope. you were doing actual like gigs. Here yeah, and there, yeah, yeah. you just did one recently. I saw it yeah, made headlines. I was and just stuff. in Vegas. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, that's so nuts, bro! Like, yeah. do you, have you just always had a thing for it? Um, Damon was actually the first DJ in my family. Mm. Um, I know that. And so, when I was a little boy, I used to play with his equipment. Even though he told me not to touch it before he left the house, he go, "Don't play with my equipment." <laughs> it's like Step Brothers. If, yeah. if, if you break it, I know that you touched it. And then I'm like, yeah. And then as soon as he leave, I turn it on and be trying to scratch and That's mess his dope. records Did up. Did you break it? Um, I didn't break it, but he knew I was playing with it. And then when I got like 14, he gave me um, some turntables and a mixer. Oh, that's and a dope I, I used to play around with it. And me and my boy used to go out and we do little parties here and there. But um, yeah. But I, and then since then, I wasn't really like 100% into it. I focused on comedy. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. then I got back into it. So, what was it that yeah. got you back into it? Just something that kind of never left just, your system? It's something fun. Just, you know, it's like, it's something to, it's what I love about it is it shuts out all noise. It's just right. you and your music. And it just keeps you in a good mood. It's, it's dope. Where do you go to That's get your cool. music? Um, iTunes. I thought you were going to say LimeWire. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's on Casa. <laughs> <laughs> iTunes, yeah. Amazon, you know, it's like all the same same spots. That's dope. That's dope. That's yeah. so awesome, man. I just think yeah. it's dope. I mean, you, what uh, are you, what uh, are DMS, you? I, I get some music off. Oh, nice. Um, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little plug. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Direct Music Service. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, when now, it comes now, to... Now, give me it, give me the membership for free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I shouted you out. Yeah. I need a lifetime supply. No, that's dope, bro. So, I mean, what else is going on right now? We're doing a stand-up thing, but what are we talking as far as TV or movies? Right now, I'm working on my... Um, cartoon that I created called The Boo Crew. Yeah. Um, uh, it's kind of like Charlie Brown meets Fat Albert with a hip hop twist. It's for kids. And the whole um, family gets involved with this, right? Uh, they do, but I do most of the, the work. And this stuff is your on baby. It. This is this is my little thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. So, um, it, yeah. Uh, so we got a YouTube channel. We got two specials that we sh uh, shot and uploaded. I'm working on the third one that I'm directing right now. Um, we got two soundtracks on iTunes. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at the Boo Crew Official, and uh, eventually you're gonna pretty much see some some um, some live Boo Crew concerts. Oh, dope. sounds kids. awesome. Do you yeah. do you like the streaming age that we're in right now, or do you wish it was like how it used to be, where people had to go out and consume it? No, I actually love it. Yeah, I love the streaming. Yeah, because it's it's uh, it changes the uh, the game because before it was set up in a way that it could only be consumed one way. Now that it can go directly to the consumer. That's that's really. Is good. it harder now? You think to release music and get it heard because it's all streaming and it's so easy to get. No, it's easier to get it to the public. But is it easier to be like a uh, famous off of music now? Or I think it was easier <sighs> back then. No, I just think actually it's, I think it's easier to become famous off music now. That's true. I guess. What about longevity? And now it though? might be harder for you to make money off. Right, of music. right. There we go. <laughs> but yeah. you make money. Touring now. Yeah, that's true. So longevity though, that's and the then biggest your thing. Your music is yours. So it's it's kind of like a it, it's it's you know, it's 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 good and then you know it Pros depends on what you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It depends on what you want out of the deal. You know, I feel like um there's a lot of opportunity for new artists now. Right. Very true. In a different way than it was for artists back then. Mm -hmm. But again, I mean I think the biggest difference I think for music and comedy is like you, you see a lot of artists that will 
it's hard to stay tough with it, like like with the current times. You know what I'm saying? As you get older, you're just living a different life. Jay Z can't relate to a, an 18 year old so much per se right now because he's yeah. talking about art and fine wine and this life he's yeah, living. Yeah, but but he's pro- but the what I like about D- Jay Z is he continues to teach you. Very so, true. Um, you might not be he might not be able to relate to you know you going to get face tattoos or whatever the life is that you're living at this particular mm-hmm. time. But he could prepare you. But for he the could future. prepare you for what. The future holds, you but know what I'm saying? So, that's what I was going to say I think is dope about comedy, though, is the fact that you can literally go up there and just continuously grow and just talk about your life and your experiences and what's going on. So as, as yes. long as you know how to read a crowd, I mean, you're pretty much set up, right? As long as you know how to... It's not so much reading a crowd, because re, you can read a crowd all you want. If you don't have the proper setup punchline and, and stuff to talk about, you're gonna fail. Yeah, you're gonna fail. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, with stand up, it it comes down to to work, working the the process. I'm I'm in the comedy clubs, um, in L. A. Working my stuff out before I even get here. So I already prepared myself the proper way so that when I come here to present it for people who's coming to pay to see me, I know I'm gonna get the la- a certain amount of laughs. Right. Um, I know that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then I play with stuff in between that I wanna take back to LA and get back in the lab and make better until I get around the floor. So it's pretty much just like a continuous thing. circle. You, Const- you're nonstop. Non you got it it's 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 you got to really be dedicated. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. Mm. I'm just, I'm just glad you gave us some time yeah. today, man. I'm excited. Oh, thank let's, you for yeah. having me. Man. Let, let's talk about the shows, man. So you're today and tomorrow, correct? Today and tomorrow I stand up live and doing two shows a night, two shows tomorrow. I mean, uh, for what someone, time? Uh, what well, we got? Seven thirty and ten. Seven thirty and nine thirty tomorrow. Okay. And seven thirty and ten tonight. Yeah. You know, tonight's always or the the last show's the lit crowd. The, the lit, yeah, crowd. everybody who's uh, all drunk, <laughs> who's uh, who's lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that, you know what? They're fun. It could go either way. Sometimes that's the rowdy crowd, and then sometimes that's the one that you could push them really far with crazy, crazy ideas. Have huh. you ever had to deal with hecklers? Like, I, I, I mean, I'm sure you haven't back in the day, but like even like at yeah, this point even, now, even today, you really? still deal with. Yeah, sometimes, you know, people are always gonna try. Now, I ain't saying uh, they're successful. I'm just <laughs> saying people are going to try. Are you the type to let them do it and just kind of overlook it? Or do you like to no, call them I'm, out? Like, you I'm, play I'm with them. coming to destroy you. <laughs> oh, I, I, I love that. I'm not I love playing. It. I ain't oh, playing. As if you, you should. <laughs> if you disrespect my show, it's, it's going down. Yeah, beware of trolls. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, here's the thing. It. What they got to understand is you might feel like you're being funny for that moment. This is what I do every night of my life yeah. for the last 30 years. And you've been drinking, and I'm sober, and I got the mic. Oh, you can't yeah. win. You can't <laughs> win. I love it, bro. And then I throw you out after I destroy you. So oh. now you lost your money. <laughs> okay? Dog. I got to see this. I, I love it, man. Sean Wayne's is hanging out, dude. Any final thoughts, comments, concerns, something we should touch on that we haven't? Uh, nothing to touch on. Just, you know, everybody, you know, continue to try to find your smile. Be happy. Continue to laugh even through these insane times. Find what makes you happy. Enjoy your life. There you go. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs)